Yay, it's anti-jokes with Discord. Here we go. What did the ghost say to the other ghost? Nobody knows because science has not yet proved the ethereal realm truly exists, and there is not yet any proof to prove its existence, and thus we may never hear what the ghost has said. Well, boo. You know the guy who mixed a fork with a toaster? Yeah, he got electrocuted. What's yellow, long, and goes in a hole? A school bus. The hole is a tunnel. What did the man do when he walked in a house? He robbed it because he wasn't the owner. Did you hear about the guy that got shot? He's dead now. Well, that's sad. What did the grape say when it got stepped on? Nothing. Grapes don't have vocal cords. Knock, knock. Come in. A guy walks into a pet shop. He buys a cat for his daughter's birthday. Everyone is happy. Except the cat, who's not going to be bugged for the rest of his life. What does a bicycle and a duck have in common? They both have handlebars, you know, apart from the duck. And a rabbi, a priest, and an atheist walk into a bar. They have a very productive conversation on the nature of theology over a few drinks. See, it should be that simple, shouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> well, the other dads are off doing their own thing for the holidays, so I thought I would come in and read these wonderful jokes. However, none of them are Christmas related because that would just be too obvious. So put down your eggnog and your Amazon Kindle Fire if you have one of those because it's time for Dad Jokes with Santa. <laughs> the other day a fight broke out in Walmart where the employees let loose a Komodo dragon and it bit several people. Things were monitored better for the rest of the day. <laughs> So recently at my school, I was in one of the lobbies, and I saw two chess masters bragging about one of the recent sets that they got. So you could say that I saw two chess nuts boasting in an open fire. Alright, that one was a little Christmassy. I'm sorry. I once tried to impersonate the entire cast of Whose Line Is It Anyway? I ended up just making a mockery of myself. What do you call a cow with only two legs? Lean beef. <laughs> Bucky Barnes was unarmed before the fight of Wakanda during Infinity War. He then armed himself to fight. Just see what I did there? <laughs> a dad asked, would you like to see some inflation? And the child said, no, no, dad. And the dad just wanted to show him a graph about stocks. If a goose is born in Portugal, is it Portuguese? Which country has the fastest growing population? Ireland. Because every day, it's Dublin! The other night, I heard something in my sleep. So I woke up to find a snobbish robber in my house. We locked eyes for a second before he ran down the stairs and escaped. It was a condescending condescending. And finally, I dreamed a few nights ago that I was drowning in a sea of orange soda. It took me a while to realize, but it was just a fantasy. <laughs> Santa doesn't fuck. Mm, fancy jokes. Have you heard the one about the thief who stole a calendar? He got arrested for shoplifting. What do you get when you cross a parrot in a centipede? Nothing. It's not possible. A drunk man runs into a bar. He's rushed to a hospital due to his injuries. What happens when you play my singing monsters at midnight? You play my singing monsters at midnight? Hey, you know what you get when you mix a joke with a rhetorical question? How many police officers does it take to change a light bulb? At least three. One to climb up the ladder to change it, one to hold the ladder for safety purposes, and one to hand the new light bulb to whoever is on top of the ladder and to collect the spent light bulb. What do vampires love to eat? Vampires aren't real, you dingus. Why is Eggman shaped like an egg? Because he eats too much fat. What is heavier, one kilogram of steel or one kilogram of feathers? A kilogram of feathers because you have to live with what you did to those birds. And why didn't the dinosaur pay his taxes? Because they've been extinct for millions of years. That's some serious tax dodging right there. Thanks, Discord. Bye. Happy New Year! Put down your champagne and your iPhone XR if you got that lucky, because it's time for dad jokes! I knew a guy who worked for the Mafia and always kept his shoelaces untied. Eventually, they dropped him after finding out he's been tattling on the caps. They had to tie up the loose ends. Once upon a time, there was a man and a horse. He was off to pick up his daughter, the princess from school. When he got to the school, he found a bunch of other parents flirting with each other. 
Dear me, not a pickup line, he said. What do you call a very fluffy livestock animal that has gotten into such a position where it's lying down on its belly and you can't see its legs? A meatloaf. What is the one thing we can measure in tons but is still lighter than literally anything else? A photon. What sound do Nintendo ambulances make? Wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you. Ugh, that's a, such a lame one. I broke character. I'm sorry. What sound does a 747 make when it bounces? Boing, boing, boing. And finally, buckle up, it's a long one. So I was walking down the street, had music playing in my ear, as usual, and then there's this lady with a cat on the other side of the street. Opposite her and right in front of me is a dog, a pit bull. Suddenly the dog starts sniffing and pulling its owner. The owner's a bit of a frail old guy. Can't hold him back for too long before he gets tired and the dog escapes. The dog darts across the street through lanes of traffic and starts biting at the cat's tail. Some bystander rushes to help, including me and the old guy, and we try to pull the cat and dog away from each other. We managed to pull the dog away and the dog came back with a prize of the cat's tail. We were all in shock for a while before the cat's owner passes out. The cat's limping away until someone notices, and then a few people scream. The story got news coverage and went viral, and so did that cat lady. We found out later that she didn't even take the cat to a vet for the tail. She went to PetSmart. Why? Because they're the world's best retailer. <laughs> Sorry, that was dark. You kids ready for some anti-jokes? Because I sure am. Here we go. Where did the clown go to school? Clown college. What did you expect? A man and a kid and a dog walk into a bar. The bartender tells the man no children or pets allowed and has to leave. How many clowns can a Volkswagen Beetle hold? Five, if you squeeze them a little bit. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because they've been extinct for millions of years. How many monkeys does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know, why are you asking me? How many Jehovah's Witnesses does it take to screw in a light bulb? Two. One to screw in the bulb, and the other to keep the ladder stable so the first doesn't fall and possibly injure himself. That's just common sense. Why are cats liquid? They're not. People just want to make memes out of them for their own entertainment. How can you be a master of blackjack? You can't, because blackjack is mostly based on luck. Your mama's so fat she should be worried as diabetes is a very serious disease. A guy walked into a bar and asked the bartender, How many people do you think have made an anti-joke that started with, A guy walked into a bar? The bartender replied with, I don't know, now shut up and drink your beer. Da 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 da. Andy jokes. Bye bye. Hey, put down your Tim Hortons and your portable 45 players because it's time for dad jokes. <laughs> I hate Russian dolls. They're so full of themselves. Here's a simple guide on how to ride an escalator. Step one. I thought my wife said we were having a boy, but she gave birth to a self-luminous, gaseous, spherical body who immediately started performing nuclear fusion reactions. I'm not really ready to have a son. Any advice? Hey, here's a good joke for all you mind readers out there. Somebody tried explaining to me how electricity is measured. I was like, what? What's green and fuzzy and if it falls out of a tree, could kill you. A pool table. How do you know if a sniper likes you? He misses you. I angered two people today by calling them hipsters. Apparently the correct term is conjoined twins. Did you know that cats are the most likely animal to suffer from chronic pain? Apparently they've been telling us all along. Meow. And finally, there is a fine line between a numerator and a denominator. <laughs> Buckle up, buckaroos. It's anti-joke time. Yeah. Where did Hitler keep his armies? I have a report due to tonight on German troop mobilization between 1939 and 1945. Could really use the help. Why do parents carry their babies? Well, babies aren't strong enough to carry their parents. So... What's a Mexican's favorite sport? Well, it depends on their personal opinion. If five years ago you had the foresight to purchase one Bitcoin, you would still only have one Bitcoin. I'm not sure why all the hype. I used to own a magic wand, and I lost it. What did the sociopath say to the kleptomaniac? I'm going to kill you. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. You're probably an extremely manipulative and toxic person who I shouldn't keep in my life and you know I'm vulnerable but you take advantage of me anyway and I want a divorce. Scythia. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? At the bottom of the page. And I know a really easy way to shorten my life expectancy. My life expect- 
Put down your Dunkin' Donuts and your Sony Xperia Z3 X whatever. It's time for dad jokes. I just discovered some gas stations actually require payment to use air. Must be inflation. The problem with studying history is that the teachers just seem to babble on. There was a guy named 10 Degrees who said that all fair exits must be at least two feet above the entrance. So when a fair put their exit on the same level as the entrance, it was below 10 degrees fair and height. <laughs> Yay! The person who invented air conditioning just wanted others to chill. They were tired of their venting. Ooh, it's a double. The other day, Cthulhu was out for a walk. He found Poseidon at the local Starbucks. Not wanting to ignore him like a jerk, Poseidon says, hello, to which Cthulhu responds, what's cracking? If coral gets stressed, it dies. But I often wonder, what does coral get stressed about? Then I realized, it's the same thing that everyone else gets stressed about. Current events. Did you know that type O blood was actually meant to be type zero blood? Due to the lack of glycoproteins in the red blood cells, it was misread and now called type O blood. I guess you could call it a typo. I don't, I don't even got anything for that. That's just brilliant. A Roman walks into a bar, holds up two fingers and says, I'd like five beers, please. What do you call jeans made of tanks? Pantsers. And finally, what do you call a droid that takes the long way around? R2 Detour! Yeah, da, 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 da.